What's up guys? We are getting into the workout footage right away, not wasting any time. Hoping this is a short and sweet commentary for you all. So what the squat variation was today was front squats. First time doing this for you guys, but I have done them in the past. What I ended up doing was four sets of six with 75 on the bar. It just looks like there's tens on there, but there's a five on the inside because I've warmed up with that. And then just put the tens on the outside. And what I really notice is that I get a lot more depth with the front squats. Take some adjusting to get the right hold. I don't like having my arms on each side because it hurts my wrist, so I just cross them over and hold it in front. What you see right now is my last three sets. I dropped it down to just 55, and I did three sets of 12, just kind of getting muscle endurance there, and it was pretty taxing. And I must say that this workout I wasn't feeling totally great either. I honestly felt like I was going to be sick, so I would do an, a workout and then kind of stop, just sit down for a little bit, and then do another one. So what you're seeing now is my last set of 12, really feeling it on the last few reps. Kind of have to readjust the bar a little bit, and then go down, not too bad but definitely feeling it. I like front squats a lot. It's definitely something I want to improve more and will definitely include more. So then, this is the leg press. This now is my fourth, third set. So what I do is four, one plate, two plates, three plates, four plates, three plates, two plates, one plate. So now you see me just doing the second half of this. So you saw me doing four plates, three plates, now two plates, then I'll do one plate, so with four plates, it's five reps, three plates, it's 10 reps, two plates is 15, one plate is 20 reps. And really felt it on the last one to see me here kind of taking a minute because I was not feeling so hot, but we get through it. Just finishing out, making sure that I don't lock out at the end. So finished up with the leg press, then got into goblet squats, which I did a lot when I was at the school gym because obviously I wasn't squatting with the bar. And here I have a 40 pound dumbbell, which I was surprised that I did with because I took a break after the leg press. So I thought I was going to be sick right there in the gym, get it on camera. Thank goodness that didn't happen. So just, uh, I think it was four sets of 12 that I did. And then I worked on doing some bicep curls. So this was four sets of 10 and I have the 20 pound dumbbells. Really want to work on my biceps. I know everything's going to come with time. It's just sometimes tough to see yourself on camera. But we're getting there slowly but surely. And repping the Wolfpack Gym Apparel shirt. And if you haven't gotten yours yet already, I know they're getting some new stuff in I believe shortly so definitely check them out. Their link will also always be in the description box below. Now this is a new bicep exercise that I have started to incorporate into my workouts. Leaning over an inclined bench and really that way you're only using your bicep. You know, there's nothing else in it. You're not able to swing your body to help it. It's strictly just working your biceps. Here I'm working with 20 pound dumbbells which is pretty good and I did three sets of 10 with this. Now then I worked into some hamstrings. I did do hyperextensions, but it was kind of hurting my back. So what I did was just slow and controlled, not swinging your body, and this strictly just works just above the knee. I know I'll definitely feel it tomorrow. So I did four sets of 15 like this, just slow and controlled. You don't need a lot of movement, and you don't need to go forward too far or back too far. Just enough to feel it. And just finished off with some bicep curls here. I did it 10 normally and then 10 in the hammer, hammer curl. Just finished off with that. So it was 20 reps each arm and then the switch. And that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Stay tuned for the recipe and I'll see you all in the next video. Time to make some protein pancakes. If you watched videos before, then you know I got a big package from the P28 Food Company, a bunch of pancake mixes, breads, bagels, flatbreads, all kinds of good stuff. 
Right now I'm going to show you the first time I'm using the strawberries and cream pancake mix. So let's see how it turns out. I'm excited. I've tried the vanilla before, so given the strawberries and cream first try. Now I'm going to make two servings because this is going to hold me through class. Normally one serving gives you two and a half grams of fat, 22 carbs, and 14 protein. We're going to double that. Let's check it out. Hopefully it turns out well. There is our final product. Made about five medium pancakes. I kind of bit that one to try it. Just want to test it out. There you go. Now one of the best parts about this is when you know it's going to be good is when you open the can of the mix and it smells like strawberries. So let's do a taste test. You can definitely taste the strawberries, very good. And I don't even have syrup or anything on it. So that's gonna do it for this recipe. Again, it was the P28 protein pancake mix and the strawberries and cream flavor. I'll leave a link to P28 food products down below so you can check them out. I'm gonna finish this and enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Please leave it a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, have a great week, and I'll see you next time.